Hello everyone. In the previous video, we saw how we can import a feature file and create automated test scenario out of it in kits. In this video, we are going to see how we can run that test scenario from the kits test suite or test execution section and um, can generate BDD uh, styled reports out of it. Okay, so this was the test uh, scenario that we had created the purchase process and the successful checkout is the name of the test case that we had um, created right now uh, what we will do is we can go to the execution pane and create um, a release I would call it release one and under this release, I'm going to create a test set called uh, BDD. Okay. Now, in this test set, I'm going to select um, uh, this particular test scenario. And if you have multiple test scenarios, just go ahead and select it and then pull it into the main canvas, save it, and that's it. Right. So, um, the next thing that we will do is we will go to the execution pane or the uh, run settings actually. And then we have to enable from here BDD reporting. This is going to be absolutely critical for us. We have to select BDD reporting. Okay. Now we're going to save this and we're going to run this once on our local just by clicking on this run icon the execution starts and um, um, it keeps on scrolling up and down because it takes these full page screenshots and we see that the execution has passed and we have a successful uh, report okay now this is an extent report that got generated uh, which has these uh, screenshots as well okay but this is not important for now what is important is uh, when we selected this BDD reporting what happened behind the scenes so what we will do is we will go to this location uh, actually the report location of this uh, BDD uh, test execution so we go to the uh, kids location, we go to projects, we go to the BDD folder, uh, results, test execution, release one, this is what we created, BDD, uh, this is the name of the test set that we created. And under the latest folder, we see a JSON report called BDD report.json that got created. If I open this up, this has all the information needed for uh, a BDD uh, reporter uh, to basically represent this in the form of a pretty HTML. We have an option of uh, running this um, locally, as in uh, generating the reports locally, or we can do this directly in Azure DevOps. Uh, we're going to look at Azure DevOps in this case because Azure DevOps has a plugin uh, in the marketplace and uh, all you need to do is just import it. Uh, so I'm going to show you how. So if I go to Azure DevOps, okay, and if I go to um, a pipeline, I'm going to go inside uh, a pipeline and I'm going to try to edit it so well when you try to edit an Azure DevOps YAML uh, you will have the option of searching for different tasks on the right side now, if you type cucumber uh, you will have this plugin already available uh, here and if you don't find this available here 
then you would find this under marketplace and from the marketplace all you need to do is simply install it and as soon as you install it this plugin becomes available to you okay now this is a free to use uh, plugin using this plugin we will be able to feed that json file and get a beautiful html report out of this let's see how now uh, we need to study this yaml that we have and uh, i have this yaml uh, locally with me so I'm going to go to my local folder where kits is um, present and this is the location that I'm going to push into Azure DevOps now all these I have already explained in the CICD video of kits you can look into that video and uh, get an understanding of how the CICD works but I'm going to quickly open up this Azure pipeline.yaml file this is going to help me run the, the, the YAML, or rather run the pipeline. So the first task is um, to give it permission. So I'm not going to uh, look into this task. The next task is to run the kits test. Now, what we have done is we have created a project called BDD. So here under projects, I have to change the name of the project so it's going to be bdd the release name is release one so release one is fine the test set name is bdd yeah and then we are passing some arguments some parameters we are saying mark the azure report as true that means there is a feature called azure reports which i'm going to uh, discuss in a different video at a later point in time. So I'm marking it as true. I'm setting the execution mode as grid. That means I'm forcing this execution to uh, uh, you know, happen remotely, not on the local. And I'm also going to pass the remote grid URL as my browser stack URL. So I'm basically going to force this execution to happen on browser stack. Okay, um, this is fine. Then I'm going to publish the test results, uh, publish the test results as n unit. Again, something that I'm going to discuss at a later point in time, uh, uh, how to do this or what is the nitty gritty of this. Uh, as of now, we are not going to focus on this. Uh, projects, uh, BDD, so the name of the project is BDD. Um, test execution release one, the name of the set is also BDD, uh, latest, and then Azure XML. So this is a task that I'm going to discuss at a later point in time. Uh, the title is not API results, but let's say BDD results. Now, this is the task that we saw in Azure DevOps um, called Publish Cucumber Report. Now, Publish Cucumber Report accepts some uh, parameters. So what is the input directory? So the input directory refers to the JSON directory where your JSON is located. So as we saw that the JSON is located under projects and then the name of your project, then the results, then the test execution pane because that's where you are running your test case from, uh, and then the name of the release, then the name of the test set our test set was bdd and then latest right so projects bdd results test execution release one bdd and then latest so this is the location where this json will be created and that's it uh, the name of the um, um, test case, the name of the test result would be Swag Labs, and I'm going to give the title as BDD results. Okay, so that's it. This is, uh, this is the only thing that we need to do uh, in order to make these BDD results available on Azure DevOps. And this is the command that's going to execute the kids test cases uh, uh, 
in the Azure agent, but the execution will happen on browser stack. Uh, so from this, you can also understand that there is a variable called browser stack URL, which is created in Azure DevOps. So we can see that from here. So variables, and this is the URL. Uh, so this is a secret variable that I have created. This has uh, the uh, URL secrets. So I have not exposed this variable as part of the YAML. So now uh, what I will do is I will simply go to my uh, to location. Let me just save this. Yeah. Go to my to location. I'll open up git. And I'm going to say it add. That means I'm going to add everything. It commit with a message BDD reports. And then I'm going to do a git push. So this will push um, my work my uh, automation script uh, into the uh, master uh, master uh, uh, branch of my repository. So let's go to my uh, repository. So it has pushed everything here. You see there is a pipeline that is already in progress. Let's go to the projects location and see that there is a BDD folder which was created and uploaded just now. But let's go to this pro, uh, to this build progress and let's see what is happening. Yeah, so the build is being executed. We step into this and here we see that the execution is indeed happening uh, and it's happening in, in browser stack. So we'll wait for the execution to be over and then we can see the results. Okay. Uh, the execution got over and we see that the test results were published to Azure and the Cucumber reports were also published and 100% of the tests passed. That means there was just one test case that we executed, so it passed. Um, now, what we will do is we will try to view these uh, Cucumber reports, but we can also click on this 100% tests passed, this one will directly take us to the uh, Azure built-in uh, uh, reporting mechanism. This is a very interesting. This is something that we're going to discuss in a different video. But uh, as of now, let's look at this tab that got created next to this tests tab called Cucumber. If I click on this, it basically shows me the, the report in the form of a feature after reading from that JSON file. So you see the feature was purchase process. Now, if I open this up, I see the description. So let's just try to match this with the uh, feature that we had imported in kits. So There was a description as a user, I want to be able to purchase the products in my cart. And the same description is also available here. And then the scenario is successful checkout. If I expand this um, and also open Visual Studio at the same time, we'll see all of these uh, steps are executed as part of the feature. And if any of them had failed, this part would have shown as a, a failure. Now, what is also important is to know that we can uh, further uh, dig into these individual steps and see what was being performed as part of this reusable. So if you remember from my previous video, every, the, every of these, every step here was being performed inside uh, a separate reusable of my choice. And uh, uh, we had some assertions that we had built in 
And for every assertion, the tool takes a screenshot and we have a download file option, which if we click, we will be able to see um, the screenshot that was taken at that point in time. So this is pretty cool, pretty awesome actually. And uh, this is how we are able to uh, um, generate BDD reports uh, directly from the tool without any external configuration whatsoever. I hope you find this useful. I hope you uh, like this video and um, I hope you also implement uh, BDD style automation with kids. Happy testing.